Even though I usually work small and on paper, I've been experimenting lately with painting on canvas in a little bit larger sizes, basically because of AI. I think the availability of AI generated images is going to move the industry towards big original pieces that you could keep in your home versus smaller pieces that need to be scanned and printed on something, or at least it will probably need to. And personally, I'm not anti-AI art. I just think it's something that we're going to have to adapt to and could be a great tool for artists. I'm happy to make a video about that as well. If you're interested, just let me know. But anyway, this video is about me setting up a little easel space. I set up a little makeshift area to see if I even liked or wanted to do more paintings on panel or canvas, and I did really enjoy it. So decided to do a more permanent setup. I started out with these three and I painted them all on the floor of my New York City apartment. So excuse the mess, but this is the before that we're dealing with. So I'm going to turn this little area into my own little acrylic painting setup by cleaning out the area first. And I got an in plein air easel for my birthday. So I put that over a drop cloth, which my landlord will be happy about. It's great for working on these canvases because I can stand up straight. Plus I have this lamp over here so I can light the piece and film for the internet. The easel has some drawers so I can keep my specifically for acrylic painting brushes here as well as the paint I bought for this. And I am sad to report that the higher quality, more expensive paints like these Goldens do work a lot better than the student grade paints that I was practicing with. I'm trying not to buy too many new art supplies while I learn this new medium so the small size drawers here will keep me honest. The finished space is really cute and making the most of my small apartment. You can see my print shop and my sewing machine and everything on the bottom right. Just wanted to show you that you don't need to rent out a large studio to make work on canvas or panel, but you might want to invest in the easel for your back's sake. 